Hello friends, this is Laravel project tutorial series on the visitor management system. And in this part, we will create custom auth controller file, and then after. We will include required class file, under controller file. Then after we will show you, how to create master blade template, and we will also see. How to include style sheet and javascript library, under master template. Then after, we will design registration, by extends master blade template, so these things, we will learn under this part. So now we have to proceed for create registration and login page, under this visitor management system. So here, we will use auth class for login and registration, but here we will make custom login registration. By using laravel auth class, so for this, first we want to make custom auth controller. So for this, we have go to command prompt, and here we have to run. PHP artisan make double colon, controller with custom auth controller file name. So this command will create custom auth controller file, under application slash http slash controllers folder. So here in controllers directory, we can see custom auth controller file, so we have to open this file. After opening a file, here we can see that blank custom auth controller class file. Under this file, first we have to include user model class. So for this, here we have to write, use with app folder slash model slash user. So after adding this line, we can use user model under this controller. Same way, we want to laravel auth class, under this controller class. So for this, here we have to write, use statement, with illuminate forward slash. Support forward slash, facades forward slash, with auth class name. After adding this line, we can use this laravel auth class, under this controller class. Next, we have to write, use statement with hash class. By using this statement, we can convert simple password, to hash formatted password. And below this, we have to write, use statement, with session class. After adding this statement, it will use session library, under this controller class. So after adding required class library, under this controller class. Now we have proceed for create method, for handle HTTP request. So here, we have write public function registration, so here we have create registration method. Under this method, we have to write return statement, with view method. And under this file, we have to write auth.registration. So it will load registration blade file, from auth folder, in the browser. Now we have go to resources folder, and from this we have go to views folder. And under this file, we can see dashboard.blade.php file, and auth folder. And under auth folder, we can see registration.blade.php file, and login.blade.php file. First we want to set master blade template, so for this, here we have to open dashboard.php file. Under this file, first we want to include bootstrap style sheet library. So here we have stored, style sheet file, under public directory CSS folder. And under this file, we have stored all style sheet library file. And same way, in JS folder, we have stored all JavaScript library link. Now for include this file, under blade file, so we have to go to dashboard.blade.php file. And here we have to write, link tag with relation attribute is equal to style sheet. And in href attribute is equal to, blade echo statement. And here, we have to write, asset method, and under this method. We have to write, CSS folder slash bootstrap dot CSS, so here. This asset method, return base path of this public directory. Now we want to include bootstrap javascript library link, so for this. Here we have to write, script tag, with source is equal to, blade echo statement. And after this, we have to write, asset method, and under this method. We have to write, js folder name, slash bootstrap.javascript file name. And it by using this script, we can include bootstrap style sheet file, under this blade file. 
After this, in this blade file, we have to write at the rate yield directive. And under this, we have to write content, here at the rate yield directive is used for. Define a section in a blade file layout structure. Now we have to open registration.blade.php file, from this auth folder. So here we can see that this file is completely blank file. Under this file, first we have to write, at the rate extends directive. And here we have to write dashboard, so here we have extends the layout of dashboard file. By using this directive, we do not want to write, complete HTML code. Which we have already write, under this dashboard file. So here dashboard file is a master template, and here registration file is one section of that template. So for defined section, here we have to write at the rate section directive. And this directive can be end by using, this at the rate end section directive. Between this, we have to paste this HTML code, for create basic structure for create registration form. So for create registration form, here we have to write, form tag. And here we have to write, method attribute is equal to post. Under this form, first we have to write at the rate CSRF directive. This is a blade template directive, which will generate the hidden input field, in the HTML form. And it will protect your application, from cross-site request forgery attacks. After this, under this form, we have to create input field for enter name details. So here we have to write, input type is equal to text, with name attribute is equal to name. After this, we have to write, class is equal to form control, and placeholder is equal to name. Same way we want to create another input field, for enter admin email address details. So for this, here we have to write, input type is equal to text, name is equal to email. After this, we have to write, class is equal to form control, and placeholder is equal to email. Next, we want to create another field, for enter admin password details. So for this, here we have to write, input type is equal to password, and name is equal to password. After this, we have to write, class is equal to form control, and placeholder is equal to password. So here we have defined all required registration form field, now we want to create one button. For submit registration form data, so for this, here we have to write. Button tag, with type attribute is equal to submit, and class is equal to, button, button dark, and button block class. After this, between this button tag, we have to write sign up, so by click on this button, form data will be submitted. Now we want to display registration form on web page, so we want to set root for controller method. So we have go to roots directory, and from this directory, we have to open web.php file. Under this file, first we want to define controller class name, at header of this file. So here we have to write, use statement, with app folder forward slash http. Forward slash controllers forward slash controller class name, custom auth controller. After this here, we have to write root class, with get method, with two argument. In first argument, we have to write registration, and in second argument. We have to write custom auth controller class with registration method name. After this, we have to write name method, and under this, we have to write registration. So this code will set root for the registration method of custom auth controller class. Now we want to check output in browser, so we have go to command prompt. And here we have to run php artisan serve command. So this command will start Laravel server, provide us base URL of our Laravel application. So in browser, we have to paste, base URL of our Laravel application. 
So here we can see that Laravel Framework Welcome page, it has been loaded in the browser. But here we want to load registration form, when we have hit base URL in browser. So for this, we have go to web.php file, and here we have to comment this code. And after this, we have to write return statement, with view method. And under this, we have to write auth.registration. So after write this code, it will load registration form, in place of welcome page. Now here we have to refresh web page, and after refresh of web page. Here we can see that registration form has been load, when we have hit base URL in browser. So in in next part, we will proceed for submit registration form data.